Simon Clark is an associate professor in cellular microbiology at Reading University. He joins me now to talk more about the coronavirus. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Now, the U.S. Evacuated, evacuated their citizens from the Diamond Princess, as we just heard there. Just walk us through the process they're going to go through from this point forward. So they'll take their, um, their nationals off the ship. They will screen them for signed symptoms of coronavirus infection. Those that have those symptoms will be uh, kept in Japan and I understand will be hospitalized. If they don't have those symptoms, they will be flown back to the US, first on to, Ca uh, to California and then some on further on to Texas, where they'll be quarantined for a further 14 days. While they're being quarantined, they'll, they'll have their condition, their health monitored uh, for, for signs of infection. Now, China is reporting a decrease in the number of new cases on this virus. Are things getting better? And if so, how? Well, if that's true, um, and the data from China in the past has not been all that complete, um, then that looks like there is a decrease in the number of cases. So, yeah, things in China, at least, um, could be getting better. Now, do you think the tougher restrictions uh, that have been imposed in Hubei province has helped the decrease in these new cases? Well, almost certainly. What the Chinese have done is basically keep people at home behind a closed door. And like any infection, this virus requires person-to-person -person transmission or host-to-host -host transmission. It would be the same if it was in an animal, in order to be able to survive. If they don't get that, they die out, and that's possibly what's happening here. Of course, the challenge will be if, the, if it gets somewhere else in the world and the authorities are unable or unwilling to be quite as strict as the Chinese have been. Um, now, Simon, there's a lot of misconception as to how lethal the coronavirus is. Can you just tell me to what extent does the sickness have to affect someone for it to be lethal? Well, it's lethal, as far as we can tell, in, it only really in people with pre-existing conditions. And the more serious those conditions, the more likely it is to be lethal. So people will have the symptoms before it, it, it uh, causes them serious complications and problems. But in most people, it will be flu-like symptoms. You, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference um, just from looking at somebody, uh, whether they had, say, normal flu or indeed a heavy cold or, or this coronavirus. All right. Simon Clark, thank you so much for that analysis. That's Simon Clark joining us uh, f from the Reading University.